Welcome to my channel, my name is Mariola and in today's video I want to talk about colour combinations for winter, autumn winter. Before I start I just wanted to ask you to subscribe to my channel because it helps me a lot and hopefully you won't miss uh, my next video. As we all know, colours are a really important element of the whole capture wardrobe. You cannot have a good functional capture wardrobe if your colours are off, if they don't go, if you have too many colours and of course if the colours don't go with your skin tone. So today I will show you my favourite but timeless colour combinations for both autumn and winter. These are the colours I personally love and actually the colours I wear all year round. Uh, but I really wanted to emphasise the colours now that we go into winter, really cold months, uh, when we just want to wear something cosy, wrap up, cover up and you can't see anything what's underneath. It's also important for me to encourage you to wear lighter colours, not just black and navy. I will mention these colours too, but I want to talk about the combinations of colours, things that will give some life and something uh, bring something interesting into your outfit. I always get a lot of questions and requests uh, to make a video about my handbag collection. I am not a designer bags lover. I don't collect bags, I don't have lots of bags. I, I don't think I would wear them if I had more than say 10 bags. So it's not easy to suggest you something. A while ago I was approached by a brand called Songmond, a Chinese brand uh, that produces beautiful, minimal, very understated but unique bags. The first bag in the company was made by, well designed of course by a founder, but it was made by her mother and that's how the whole uh, company, the whole process started. I think that's really cool, very interesting story. So this video is not sponsored, I was gifted these bags just to be fully transparent with you but I will tell you my very honest opinion after about two weeks wearing them and playing with them. Uh, because I will be styling them a lot with these um, outfits. So now let's move on to the lookbook. I prepared some of my outfits that I wear on a daily basis but I also found lots of photos on Pinterest that inspire me. The first one is black and beige, one of my favorite combos. I feel like in summer I would wear a lot of black and white, but when I was preparing my outfits for this video, I realized there is not much white in my winter wardrobe, apart from occasional tank top or a white shirt. Black and cream or beige is less contrasting and softer, which seems to be my preference in colder months. My jeans are more of an off-white, which is a great color if you want to try white jeans in winter, but you're looking for something more practical and less in your face. There are so many options for this color combo, so I just wanted to show you that you can go for something simple, like a tonal look, either black or beige, and just add a coat in the other color. And if you ask me about the length of the skirt, I don't mind that it's longer than the coat, as long as it's in the same color as your shoes and there is no big gap in between. Don't you just love those yummy, earthy, neutral colors that also happen to be very chic? Grey, white and black. It's a great trio if you are trying to lighten up your winter wardrobe. Of course, you can wear it in lighter or darker configuration. I love this combo because white and grey is a very fresh, flattering duo and black creates contrasting frame to it. In the second look, I'm wearing black, more baggy trousers. It's a very casual, everyday look but if it's too much oversized for you, you can change the proportions by swapping chunky jumpers for more fitted turtleneck or slimmer trousers. 
The black coat I'm styling here is a virgin wool and alpaca mix that I was very lucky to find in TK Maxx maybe two years ago. It's the warmest coat I've ever had and it's got this fuzzy texture that doesn't attract dirt particles. I'm styling both looks with my favorite everyday but still very special bag by a Polish designer Zofia Hylak. Grey and beige. These two colors may not seem too obvious, but they work together really well. However, in my experience, the lighter the shades of both colors, the better. I also favor a combination of cool tone beige with a cool tone gray. In the clip on the left, you can see how I changed proportions of each color and added black and a little bit of white. It's actually four colors now, but it doesn't bother me because white, especially in such a small ratio, works as a glue that holds the outfit together and adds some lightness. Navy and black. Navy is not my main color, but it's a very welcomed guest, especially in a very minimal version with black and lots of gold jewelry. Here I tried adding my vintage Burberry scarf for a more Parisian look, but I'm not sure it's my favorite. It's good to experiment though, um, you never know what's gonna click. One thing I love in every outfit with navy is white sneakers. I found this photo of David Beckham and I think it's perfect. A navy coat would be great, but I'm styling what I have. Here just a little tip regarding your ankles in winter. With sneakers or chunky shoes, I like to wear nude socks with a gold shimmering thread. From far away, they look very neutral, but when you look closer, you can see something interesting and more intentional. Stripes. I think it's the only pattern I don't get tired of and I like to wear in summer and winter. My only problem, I haven't found a perfect merino or cashmere striped jumper, so my cotton pieces are not the warmest in winter. Again, you can see how different configuration of colors can completely change the outfit. In the first one, stripes combined with white jeans and a pea coat create a very fresh light look, even with black boots. And by adding black trousers, the whole outfit becomes more practical for wet weather or if you have small kids. And in the last look, I was really just playing with different shades of beige, or taupe in this case. How do you like this coat with stripes, by the way? And here you have all the looks together and the essence of the capsule wardrobe. How one jumper can be styled in so many different ways. All black. I don't normally wear all black outfits, at least on a daily basis. Uh, I only do it when I can combine different textures to achieve more dimension and visual interest. The best things to look for is leather, matte and patent like my handbag and boots, uh, fluffy jumpers and coats like wool, cashmere, alpaca, but also silk, even just a delicate silky collar or a cuff of your shirt will make a huge difference. Also, don't forget jewelry and hardware in your accessories. They will shine even more against your black outfit. You can add any color accessory to make your outfit more interesting or just to showcase your cool bag or shoes. I actually really love this white beanie and how it brightens up my face. In the last version of this look, I'm wearing my new Converse high tops in this strange color, something between beige and gold. You wouldn't believe, but this is my first pair of Converse. Love them and love how they make everything look so much cooler. I just wanted to let you know that Songmond offered a very exclusive discount for my lovely viewers. I'll put the details on the screen and in the description box. A splash of color. I'm very loyal to my electric blue cashmere jumper and I can say this is the only accent color I always feel very comfortable and confident in. I decided to pair it with my vintage leather trousers and I really love this look. This is a very minimalistic duo, but blue looks great with so many other colors. For example, light gray or beige and camel. 
and I'm back to my lovely song bag. I really love how it transforms every look and it makes it more interesting and modern. I understand a vivid colour is rather unusual in a minimalist wardrobe, but it's a great pick-me-up item, especially in winter, on a gloomy cold day. And actually, it's my favourite type of jumper. Cropped and boxy and it's got a lovely fluffy texture. Don't forget to use my discount code for Songmon bags. Remember though to do your research before you make any decision. Make sure it goes with your personal style and the clothes you have in your wardrobe. Don't buy anything only because it looks good on someone on YouTube or Instagram. So that's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what is your favorite color combination for winter. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!